just heading out for a simple one-nighter and we are exploring some crown land this weekend. So we've just found ourselves a nice spot after doing some exploring of different tropical locations and we're just going to bring the canoe down in our packs and load up in the canoe and head out and see what sites we can find on this lake. So we just got all our gear loaded in the canoe and we're out on the water. It is a very, very foggy day today. Can't even see the other side of the lake that we're on. But we're going to go and try and hunt down a site to call home for tonight. So on one end of this lake, there's actually some train tracks that go through. I'm not sure if you can see them through all the fog, but it might get pretty loud if you're camped near them, but it also could be a cool sight to see when you're camping. Towards the one end of this lake, so the train tracks are just over here, but the lake narrows off into what looks to be a bit of like a creaky area. So we're going to explore this a bit to see sort of where it goes. But it's a pretty cool looking lake. Long train. I've seen two motors. There's the first one and one further down. I feel like we're getting to where there should be a third one though. I cannot see where the end is. The train just comes out of thin air. That's what I was thinking. Why is it slowing down? We're just gonna end up with a train half stopped here. Weird. creek part that we went into is just over here. We went as far as we could down that until we reached a giant beaver dam that is dropped, the other side of the water is dropped down a couple feet at least. But we came back out and the train was coming by, so we thought we'd come and check it out. It's now stopped, not sure what for. You can see how much the beaver dam has raised the water on this side though. Those hydro lines are sitting very much in the water now. Oh, there we go. Never really realized how long it takes for a train to catch up, like get its speed going. We just made it to our campsite for the night. <laughs> so we've got, there's a lot of moss on the rock here that's quite squishy, so I think we're going to set up our tent right about here. And then we're up quite high, it's a pretty view, a little bit foggy, but I think this is what our site is going to be. So we just finished making lunch. I didn't get any footage of it because we were quite hungry. It's a little bit after 3, so it's a little later lunch for us. But we ended up having some Mr. Noodle. So we got our bear hang down behind me. So that's all good to go. And then we got our tent all set up. Still a little foggy, but it's starting to clear up some. on, I believe it's after 7 now. Um, we spent a bit of our afternoon doing a little bit of fishing, and then we kind of just hung out a little bit, did a little bit of reading, um, 
And now we are about to go and get some dinner ready. So I think we're going to have some mashed potatoes and gravy for dinner. I'll show everyone what the lake actually looks like now that all the fog has kind of disappeared. Quite a pretty lake. We have a bit of a uh, beaver lodge passing over here. Beaver lodge back here on this side of our site. So yeah, we're just going to take down our bear hide and make ourselves some dinner. Pack up our gear. It's a little misty this morning. And we're hoping that we can beat any sort of rainstorm we might have. And now we're just cooking some breakfast. So just cooking up some bacon, and then we have some hash browns that will be rehydrated, and we'll fry those up next. And then we'll be out of the site and headed home. So we just got everything packed and loaded in the canoe. And we're headed back to the vehicle to end our short little commute trip on some town land. Still a really foggy day today. Can't even see where we actually put in. So this was the site that we stayed at. We had our tent set up right up there. It was a nice little site. A little bit of a steep drop off to the water. And there was not a whole lot of space up there, but it worked for our tent. 